Hey guys, so today we're going to Barcelona. Now this is like the second part of my two part spring break vlog series. So if you haven't seen part one, I'll link it down below or it's like on one of these cards. I don't know which side it's on. Just woke up, it's like really early. We're taking a train, which I'm super excited about because it's like one of those super fast trains that goes like all the way across the country. I guess cue the travel montage. <laughs> <sighs> we made it to Barcelona. Okay, this is our hotel room. It's kind of small. This one's not as good as the one in Madrid, but you know, it's good enough. There's like this really tiny, cute balcony right here. You can just sit right here and like hope you don't fall down. But the view is pretty nice. I don't know what we're gonna do today, but I guess I'll tell you once we do it. cable car thing now just look at that view are you kidding me that's like not real are you serious right now and then you just like go all the way to the top there but look at that oh my gosh and then you can see the ocean i don't know if you can see it but it's right there update so now we're going even higher we just got out of the cable ride and now we're on top of this mountain look at this okay Look at all those chickens! This view is literally insane. And then we got the other side, but basically this is just like all the Port Barcelona and stuff. We have to take the thingy down again, so that's what we're gonna do. Who wants a pizza? Who wants a pizza? Who wants a pizza? The next day, today, we're starting off by going to the Sagrada Familia. Now, I'm literally so excited for this. Like, when I found out that we're going to Spain, this was, like, the number one place that I wanted to go to. I don't know. I'm just, like, a really big fan of architecture. It's actually pretty cool because the building's been under construction for over 100 years, which I guess doesn't even make any sense. Like, can't they just hurry up? I don't know. I thought the construction in front of my apartment was bad, but if this is under construction for 100 years, that's pretty bad. Crazy to think that some people live their entire lifetimes and didn't get to see this building finished so I don't even know if it'll be done in my lifetime but we're just gonna go and see how it looks right now I'm actually gonna cry do you see these tears oh my gosh it's so pretty I think I'm gonna have to do another cinematic moment because just look at that.
I literally have no words. I took like 400 pictures in there or something, but it's time to say goodbye. Look at it, literally stunning. Now we're going to this hospital. Kind of weird, it's a hospital, but it just looks really pretty. So that's why we're going and might take some awesome pictures there. I got a lot of awesome pictures here. Like I said, took like 400 pictures and a lot of videos. Oh my gosh. So we're at the hospital and That's a hospital? Are you kidding me? There's like actual people that come here and are like sick and dying. Like if I was sick and dying, I would want to go to this hospital, not some like nasty concrete box in America. What the heck? So I'm like in the center of this hospital right now. Hey, okay, just look at this. Are you kidding me? Like, why would they make this hospital so intricate? There's like all these little towers and then like these things go all the way down. There's like four or five of them. It's pretty, I mean, there's probably people dying there right now, which is kind of scary, but. now we've made it to this park it looks like this there's all this crazy stuff and there's lots of other cool stuff over there but it doesn't open until four look at this like this is all i can see right now and i know this stuff back there is even cooler and i just want to know like literally why is america so freaking ugly like in america a park is like flat grass and then maybe you have like a swing or two or something here this is like a park like if there weren't any tourists this is like a park that regular people go to like are you kidding me now we're at the top of this park there's literally so many people here i'll try and get a better view from the top but the view is literally so freaking crazy like you can see all of barcelona I don't know if you can see it. I'll insert a clip if I get one. Now we're at like this. Oh my god. It's so freaking bright outside. Okay, but now we're at this house. Actually, it's not a house. It's like an apartment complex. It's called Casa Mila. It was designed by Gaudi. A bunch of the places I've been to today were designed by Gaudi, like the Sagrada Familia and the park that we went to. But this one's also designed by Gaudi and there's like all this crazy stuff. But it's literally like an apartment complex on the street, if you can see that. And it just has like all these different structures. But this lighting is so good. Like, look at my skin, I'm glowing. It's like all these different passageways and then there's this courtyard and there's another courtyard like over there. There's also like a bunch of these creepy heads. Do you see these? I almost literally fell down the courtyard. Oh, now I can title this that I almost died in Barcelona. Hey, look, like there's all these heads. I don't know what those are. Maybe they're like Spartan heads. I like this one though. This one's my favorite. So that rooftop we were in, shh, I snuck into the attic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now this is the attic, look at this. I wish my attic looked like this. Like in my future house, my attic is gonna look like this. It's pretty cool. But this is like the, how the outside of the building looks like. And that's the rooftop we were just at. So, yeah. Hey guys, so it's the last day in Barcelona and like the whole last day in Spain in general. That's kind of sad, but what we're doing today is we're just gonna like stay around in the area of our hotel. We like saw all the cool crazy stuff all around Barcelona. We haven't like gone around the hotel a lot. So what we have here is like the Gothic Quarter, which is just like where all these cool buildings, cathedrals and stuff are, Gothic style architecture. And as you can see, it's like all these narrow passageways and it just looks super cool. The first 
first place we're at is this church. Now look at this. This is literally like the epitome of Gothic architecture. Like, are you kidding me? You have this massive stained glass window and then like all these gargoyles and like whatever those are called, but you know, they're like little like clover thingies. Um, that church you saw earlier, I lied. That's not the epitome of Gothic architecture. This is, are you kidding me? Look at that, it's like super pointy, like, but are you kidding me? Look at all those details and all of that architecture. I'm literally crying again because of how beautiful it is. y'all don't even know i literally just saw the cutest freaking dog it was so cute his name was donatello i got one picture of him i'll put him right here but oh my gosh literally that was like the best moment of my life finally home literally that was like the longest way back home oh my gosh this feels so good it's literally 2 a.m because we had a seven hour layover and then our flight still got delayed on top of that so it took kind of a long time but we're finally home and i'm definitely going to sleep because it's literally 2 a.m and i have to get up tomorrow because i'm going back to college i literally don't know how i'm gonna go back to college and go back to class i feel like the jet lag is gonna like murder me or something but i guess we gotta do what we gotta do but yeah i feel like this trip was probably my favorite trip i've ever been on so i'm super thankful for that if you enjoyed this definitely subscribe for more probably not often but more travel vlogs in the future comment down below what your favorite thing from this vlog was and i guess i'll see you next week peace